When it comes to Spider-Man and his future in the MCU, at one point, it wasn't guaranteed. Now, it is, but who knows how things will change down the road. And now we're hearing that Marvel Studios and Sony are in disagreement over what to do with the upcoming marketing for Spider-Man No Way Home, specifically the next trailer. And the two studios are very much butting heads because they're in complete different corners and sides of the argument. So I've talked about the report that the next Spider-Man trailer is delayed because they can't figure out how exactly do you put this trailer out in terms of spoilers. Do you reveal Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire and rob people of experiencing that in the theaters and having that emotional reaction? Because you know people are going to cry. They're going to cheer. It's going to be an explosion of sound and noise that you want to capture and put online. It's going to be like Avengers Endgame. It's going to be that Avengers Assemble moment. So people are going to have a huge reaction to it. Now, what we're hearing is that Marvel Studios and Sony are again butting heads over Spider-Man and specifically this approach. And we don't know who's taking what side, but it's a split. One studio wants to keep both Spider-Man hidden. So you have to see the film to experience it. The other studio wants them front and center in the trailer. They want them highlighted. We don't know who's on which side, but let's be real and look at this realistically. Sony is the studio who's willing to reveal endings of films or entire films in trailers. Literally beat for beat sequentially, they do this multiple times. I mean, that's Sony's MO. They don't care. They just want people to see their film and they don't care about spoilers. Again, if we look at Marvel Studios, they're on the complete opposite side of things. Avengers Endgame. Hey, what did you guys show us in those trailers? Almost nothing. Kept everything a secret. They knew that the demand, people wanting, speculation was literally driving demand for that film. So they let the studio capitalize on it. They let the marketing capitalize on it. Sony is a little bit more in a different mindset. They want to guarantee that all the people that are watching or want to watch or could even maybe not even care about Spider-Man anymore, could see this and go, well, I liked that Spider-Man, or I liked that one, or I liked the new one, and now the old ones are back, so I'll go see it regardless. I won't wait till it's on streaming services, right? And I could see why they would be butting heads, because in my opinion, I'm siding with don't show them. I'm not going to change my stance on this, but I can see why somebody would say, no, you have to show them because that's going to drive profits. But I would argue it won't. The mystery aspect and just teasing it enough is enough to create a demand. That's exactly what the Avengers films did. And I think it can work for them because you don't want to spoil and rob people of that moment. And it's going to be interesting to see what the final trailer does look like, because if they reveal it, that could hurt them. It legitimately could. And then we'll know which side won. I mean, this kind of reminds me of the Sonic scenario where majority of the people at the studio said he needs to do the human looking form, creepy looking thing we saw and that side won. And then once the trailer hit, the reaction was so bad that they said, well, actually, we're going to fix that because the other side of the studio that was saying he needs to just look like Sonic probably should have won. So it could be that type of scenario where if they reveal the Spider-Man, it could actually drive away interest because you reveal too much. Let's wait and see.